Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it's Regrowth, it's episode 4 of Regrowth, and today we have got two massive games back to back. We've got Huddersfield second in the championship, we currently lie sixth, and Liverpool is who we got drawn in the fourth round of the FA Cup, and that's where I'm going to start. Liverpool currently sit fifth in the Premier League, which is a massive, massive, massive shock. That's a huge shock, considering the squad, and considering most times that you load up into a save with... Um, how it looks, Liverpool usually first season in for the first two, three, four years of the best team in world football and just blitz everyone. So very, very big shot that Liverpool currently sit fifth um, in the Premier League, which is interesting in itself. Did I say right? Did I sign Ryan? Jesus, the, the big signing. Six million. Usually goes for a lot more than that. But we do have Nottie, we do have Huddersfield first. Um, our form has been, look, really good. But I am really, really annoyed. Since we last met, we obviously had uh, the Watford crazy game. We lost 3-2. Um, we had two guys sent off. We actually, with 10 men, got it back to 2 from 3-0 um, down to 3-2. It was crazy. And we actually had a, we actually had a slight moment in the 96th minute uh, with nine men. We won the ball back. Freeman got on the break. And it was 3 against 2 because I kept up four guys up. And as Freeman's running past halfway and we have got the numerical advantage on the break with nine guys on the field, referee decided to blow it. He blew it right on 96 minutes and 96 minutes at a time. And there was a sending off in the 95th. Me and the stream were up in arms last night. Well, uh, how do you blow it then? How is it not an extra like, minute or two for the sending off for Silver? We couldn't believe it in the end. Yeah. Um, we drew 2-2 to Birmingham before we rotated against Bradford. Swansea and Sheffield, two interesting games, but mainly more interesting because what we're here for. We're currently live on stream, links down below and all that stuff. I am trying to make sales and at the moment it is not happening. I'm trying everything at the moment to make sales and we do need a centre back as well and it has not happened yet. A, we can't find the right centre back and it's now getting to the point where it's now the 21st of Jan. I only have two recognised centre backs that are like decent, and uh, mm. it does not help that Warrell has been suspended for the last three weeks since his red card. It was the most horrid challenge, by the way, in that game where he got suspended five minutes in. It was an absolute leg breaker, but we are looking a little bit in trouble. It is nice that he is back. Finally, is Jack, but we have got people leaving us. Johan is not playing for me. He's now joining on a free. I'm not even going to register him. I want him gone. He's on 30k a week, chewing up so much of the wage. He's the reason why I couldn't get this guy. People know straight away who Tilly Kerr is. He's interested. He wants to come. He's listed. I have the money, just don't have the wage. And if I had that 30k off, he would be here right now. Wants only 60k a week for a guy that's this good and to come and play in the championship. He's already a Premier League centre back. And yeah, I just can't believe it that I can't get him in. The fact he's at PSG is the problem, really. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, Joe Rorrell is back, which is great. And I've been using MB So, who I've told you right now that he has not really developed at the moment, um, which is doing my head in. And then we have Thiago, who is not at the level at all, the 25-year-old. If I had another two centre-backs or at least another one, I would even be interested in getting rid of this guy. Um, and the main reason is that A, our finances are a little bit of shambles. And B, at the moment, is that we just don't really... From what I've seen is we have the quality to beat the sides in the lower half and then people in the top half we can give a game to, but we just don't have the quality. And mainly it happens at centre-back. We don't really have that leader that is really there. And that leads me on to my last part is on the outs, we have people leaving already. Michael Dawson had an offer for Minnesota for his value. His contract is expiring in a year's time and he's declining. And I quickly accepted it for the captain. He is leaving on the second. So once we get into February... We're losing a centre-back, and we only have three recognisable ones, right? Johan's another one. He is here, and I could register him just in case. The idea is not to register him. The idea is to really kind of like, just get rid. Just get rid. Get a centre-back or two in. Don't care about this bloke. Let him go off in the in the summer, and that's it. Um, and Luke Steele, obviously, our backup keeper, is already going for 75k, and that's fine to go to Toronto. But we are having problems. We have eventually got an offer in for Nuno da Costa of 3 million. I started at 6, went my way to 5.5, went my way to 5, went my way all the way down to 4, offered for 3.5, offered for free, nothing happened. We then had an offer for 2.7 come in from um, where he's actually going, which is Deportivo. Um, I said yes, board said no. 
said we want more more than 3.3 and it'd still be low. And I'm like, look, mate, no one's coming in for him and in, not done anything for me. I need the money to fund Tilio Keller. In the end, my bid, I did bite the bullet, bid for him. He wanted it, wanted to come. 68, 78K a week, whatever it was, can't afford it. If we had Tilly, if we had the cost of gone when I wanted him to, it could have been an extra 15k a wage I don't have to pay. And maybe, just maybe, we would have got maybe a 55k bid in for Tilly Keller. It would have been all the money, but I have a well, well, not a world class, but I have a Premier League centre back coming in to play for Nottingham Forest. In the end, didn't happen. Finally, though, Deportivo, the board kicked up that it was for 3 million. I eventually got to talk him in. The first time could have talked him into it. This time we talked him in to saying yes. So he's going too, right? But we are having absolute problems. First thing is, Joey Cavalio, I've tried to give this guy game time. He's just not good. And like in the last game, we conceded a goal in the 90th minute, even though we won 3-2. It just sums up this, the, the problem here at Forest, is we're getting in good positions, and we just don't have the quality to capitalise. We're getting good positions. Three against two was Cavalio. Gets tackled instead of playing a pass at either one of his wingers that he could have been in with. They go down there and they're in the score. All right? Dawson, thank God he's gone. How many times this season? At least five or six, he's been caught on the ball at centre-back trying to play out and they go and score. So for me, it's now the time of these guys need to get cut. A lot of the other guys, right, is guys that I haven't signed. You know, prime example is um, is Guerrero. Did not sign him. 11K a week is a bit large for him. He's only a free star. He's only going to decline. I will say he actually is very around and very usable probably and probably would be better than the Costa. But at the same time, I'm playing a one strike formation. I've got another striker here. If there was an injury, I've got Freeman, I've got um, Johnson that can all play there if I need it to as well. I would rather have a bit of a smaller squad, especially that we're going to get probably knocked out at Anfield by Liverpool after this Huddersfield game. And I'd rather have these guys off. I'd rather get the money in. And with not long left in the transfer window, I need a centre-back desperately. Need it desperately. Because if I go to... The fact that MB So has been I'd arguably my best centre-back all year... There's not really guys here. Tobias, Worrell, that's really it. That is really it. And these guys here, I don't even know who they are. It's a 19-year-old freestyle potential and Rama, never heard of. We need a centre-back. The guys that I've been looking at that I could sign aren't even the greatest either. I do have a bid in, by the way, even though we don't... If I sell Cavalio, I do need another player that can play in here. Muletieri, for me, has played really well at Mess. He came in and changed that Mess side from being a mid-table side and pushed me into fifth that first year. The idea of me to get him in is get him in. He's got a lot of potential. For getting him in between that 1.5, I think playing 1.2 up front and a bit is not bad. What I don't get is the fact that he is leaving on a free at the moment and doesn't want to talk to me, but is happy to talk to me if I make a bid, which I don't get. At Mess, he actually got transferred in this window for 60k, and I picked him up for that. This year, looks or in this save, it looks like Inter want to keep him, but don't want to renew his contract just yet. And at the same time, he wants to wait for Inter to offer him a contract. So I'll kind of am forced to spend the 1.1 million right now. He then gets another, after 50 games, another million. And then after we get promoted, it's another 500k, it's something like that. Which kind of means for me that if we get promoted this season, a lot of that's going to happen once we got the Premier League money. So to get Mulatieri in, who's very well-rounded, get him playing. I think he'd be better than Freeman um, in the hole, and I think he'd be better than Ben Johnson in the hole. That was not bad. What it allows me to do is actually put Freeman on the left, use Amiobi as a backup, put Mulatieri in, use Johnson as a backup, and I've got that depth, and I can sell on like the players such as Carvalho and Co, and get more money in than what I spent. Especially with the finances declining, we are about to play Liverpool at Anfield. I think the right thing to do is is to get players on the cheap and sell off a lot of this bigger squad that I'm not going to use. It leaves me in a good spot where I've got some younger kids that have played a bit more football for next season if we don't get promoted, or if we do get promoted, because we are in the conversation, right? I have then cut off a lot of the deadwood. I have a bit of more money. We're going to get the Premier League money. I've got young kids that are going to only develop by playing games in the Premier League in and around off the bench. And allows me to build a squad and I'm not so heavily invested in guys that aren't overly great, decent for the championship, that got me there and expect to still be playing in the Premier League. I think it's the great way to go about it. Anyway, enough about this. In terms of how we've been playing, it's not been great. But, you know, the form of Alex Martin and he's still just, you know, he, his determination is already up to 14. It was 11 at the start of the season, man. He is looking absolutely amazing. And he's here for another at least a couple of years. It's been not bad. Uh, we are going to rotate a little bit. Like I have been um, grabbing is definitely tempting me to sell, but I haven't as well. Amiobi's in great form, so I'm actually going to get Freeman in. 
Um, with that short on centre-backs, then I'm like struggling to fill bench spots. Worrell's back, which is good. Um, so I'm going to get Worrell straight in with MB so and move these two around. Ribeiro is going to come out for core twists. Godin isn't going to start here, no. Um, Batchy, we need to talk about the ins. I nearly forgot the ins. Um, I just made one, I've made one signing. I have made one signing. Herbie Kane on loan for Liverpool. Two million optional fee at the end of his loan. His contract is expiring at the moment, but because we're in England and we can't do it because he's under 24. Two million for this guy. I think he's only going to develop. Be really good for me. And because of that, I think getting him in on loan, if we don't get promoted, definitely going to get him in for two million because he will get a year in the championship, at least another one to develop. And if we do get promoted, it's a question of, do I want to bring him in and use him as a bench player? Or no, I could get buy better with the money we're going to get from the Premier League. I think it's a really good deal. Nearly forgot about Herbie Kane. I've never used him before. I've always wanted to on FM. Um, so that was another reason behind it as well. Apart from that, that's really your team. Christie's been good for him. Quartz with Samba, Warrell, MB, So Silver, and Batchy you know about. Freeman in the hole of Amiobi. Taylor up top. You know the drill. We need to win this game. All right. It's getting to the point now that in my head, it's like every game I play is a cup final because we just need to keep on winning to stay in the playoffs. That is the goal. I really want to be in the playoffs at the end of this year. It would be really nice. In the end, I have faith in the boys as well. Score prediction in the chat. We are live on stream. Links are all down below. You know that. A bit of a talkative start, but a lot has been going on. I don't like the color clash here at all. We should have wore the red. It is Forrest in the darker blue. It is the white and blue of Huddersfield, who currently sits second in the table. And then after this, boys, we have got Liverpool. And hopefully be all right. Knox finest records, we're going to lose 4-2, which is not the worst guess. Considering for what we saw last episode, there's going to be goals. The way I've seen it at the moment is when we haven't played the 4-2-4, we have been defensively okay. Until we score, we love to concede. And anyway, our reading of beating Norwich, Norwich actually going in a bit of a run where they're not winning. Same with Bournemouth as well, which is really good for us. Uh, with our form, we've obviously deserved to be where we are, but these teams really have dropped points. Anyway, Ami Obi's been in really good form. As I say this, he punts it to no one in particular. Stearman finds Schindler, and they're building out here. Look, Huddersfield at home are going to be really good. They beat me away from home, I do believe, as well. We lost 2-1. We were 1-0 up. We were pretty poor that day, though, and we managed to get a goal with Batchy and then conceded a goal really late in the 89th minute, I think, to lose. I think that's the game I'm trying to remember. Might have been like three games into the season. So it would be nice to get something in. In the end, Grant has missed an absolute sitter from six yards, and we really should have been 1-0 down right on half time. I think because they're in such good form and they are second, an away draw would not be the worst result as well. So unlike games where I have been chasing in the 4-2-4, I don't think this is going to be one of them unless we go behind. And as we say, this Grant's on the left-hand side, and his ball's pretty good. Headed down, O'Brien hits it, and Lewis O'Brien's hit a very nice goal. Set himself lovely. He's, he's absolutely enjoyed that. And fair play too. It's a very nice goal. And probably showing why Huddersfield are in and around that automatic promotion spot and in that conversation at the moment. It's good from Grant. His ball there, headed down, sets himself up, and that is a very, very, very good hit. And we're 1-0 down right on half time. Hallmark of a very good team to go ahead. Gonna say some, you know, show me something else, get aggressive, the standard usual. Guys know what, what's up. And now it's all about getting into the 65th minute without conceding another one, and then we'll go for it. Leonardo now finds Thiago Silva, uh, Thiago Silva. I'll happily take a goal right now. Freeman gets on it, finds Leonardo, gets to the byline, cut it. In the end, it's come off the keeper who tried to claim the cross, and Taylor's put it in. And there's a difference between Taylor and Grabben right there. Lewis Grabben finds a way to miss that chance or not get there or have his effort blocked or not get there first. Something weird. Taylor this year, every time he's ended with these moments, these half moments, he's there. And there he is again, jolly on the spot, right spot. The goal sneaks, get his another goal. It's 1-1. One, one. And it's been a fairly even game. Have we deserved to get level there? Mm, not really, but I'll take it, that's for sure. And now it's just wait and see what happens. At the moment, 70 minutes played. Um, Maiton's played a lot of minutes because we obviously don't have a winger. That's At the moment, it's me buying a... Centre back first is the first priority. A centre attacking mid is second, and then finding a winger that can play on the right hand side third. Um, may need to rest Martin. Um, with that in mind, I am going to get Johnson out there. I think Johnson's probably the better of the two to play out wide than Freeman. 
Freeman's not bad out there as an inverted winger. He's pretty good at it. Um, I haven't... Mm, let's do that. You know, Lolly was really good out there, so why not? We've got Christie's playing. He's very good at getting on. He's coming back from injury, though. We'll go to one. I am going to make my second change here, and in comes Mr. Herbie Kane. I'm going to get Herbie in as the box to box. I'm going to get Batchy as a deeper lying. Um, just both to sit in, really, and just really, really... We're not going to go and park the bus, but really stay behind the ball... Only go forward when needed and see what happens. And I am going to make my... Oh, Freeman, corner, highlight. Get a goal, please. Worrell, Taylor. We'll take that and run, boys. We will take that and run. It's 2-1. And Huddersfield, if you're Huddersfield, you feel very, very, very despondent. Like, how you're losing this game, you don't know. In the end, Pereira made what would have been... It probably would have gone in anyway, but Taylor's there again. He's his 50th of the year. And there we go. Now it's all about at what point do we park it, and I think it's now. I think it's now. I think we're going very defensive. We're going very short, extremely low. Don't even need to change that, really. Um, play for a set piece because at time waste, be a bit more disciplined. Regroup, hold, slow down. Try and keep the ball, though. You know, try, the more we have the ball, the less time they have to win the game is what I'm saying. Quad twist is on a booking, too. Three of the back four are on a booking. Um, Taylor's on a booking and is on a double. Might do this. I might go with that. And I might get Ryan Yates in there as well. Herbie Kane's a bit more of a DM. Get him to sit in. It's probably the ball winning him. The DM is smarter. We'll go with that. Amiobi to drop off. Freeman can drop off. And we'll go to that. I think is the smartest thing to do. Confirm the change. There we are. It would be absolutely amazing to get home. Ryan Yates obviously has been injured. So that's why you guys haven't seen him. He had like about a three month injury. He's got an okay amount of potential. Um, and yeah, anyway, Sammy Amiobi finds Freeman. I'm hoping this is not a highlight, really, but who knows? I have scored goals on very defensive before, but usually when you see a highlight list and you've gone very defensive, it's them winning the ball and them having a moment. Anyway, no need from MB So showing his inexperience and probably why we need a centre back. Someone that's a bit more experienced, someone that isn't as slow as Dawson and doesn't make the mistake to just. Go, we don't need to keep the ball here, nothing, yeah. Anyway, O'Brien now. We've got a big bank of players behind the ball. Ward, Daly, hits it. Oh my, it wasn't far. But yeah, the big bank, they're doing its job. Not letting anything through and just forcing it from distance, which is what you want. And we get another one of these grindy wins. We have not been playing great football at all for the last month, really. Right? But if you look at our last month of performances, it's been really good. 2-2, we weren't great. Bradford City, not bad. Swansea weren't great. Got an 80th minute from Alex Martin. A 3-2 win against Sheffield, and we weren't great, right? And we weren't great against Huddersfield, but away against second, and we get a win. That puts us fourth in the table on 57 points. We're starting to build a little bit of a gap to Bournemouth and Reading, which is not bad, and Derby, our arch rivals down there in ninth as well, getting away from them. And all of a sudden, these wins, these grindy wins are adding up. Yes, I'm not happy with the squad. Yes, I think we need a few players in a few areas. Centre back, centre attacking mid to allow for a bit more depth. And I think we need to trim this squad down massively. But the one positive here is as much as this is frustrating me that I can't get what I want, this Forest side at the moment, even though they're playing poor, are grinding wins. Is it all going to stop against Liverpool and Anfield? Most of them probably. But I'll see you guys there for an FA Cup fourth round. A glamour tie at Anfield against Liverpool. Welcome back, YouTube. It is the day we play Liverpool in the FA Cup. In the fourth round. Big news though. Samuel Mulatieri is joining. As you can see, it's one mil there. One mil after 50 appearances. They get 40% of his next sale profit. I didn't want that, but oh well. Um, and 250k once we get promoted. I just think he is really, really good. I honestly think this is one of those guys that when you pick him up, cheap. He's very underrated. You know, Simon Hunt knows how to scout some potential. Um, one of our better scouts. I just think that, look... We have got players that can play in this role. I think him and Brendan Johnson are very similar. The thing is with Mulatieri is I think he has a higher ceiling than what Johnson does. And I've seen it at Mess. So I'm going to take the punt. Plus, I know he can play in the Premier League. We saw it at Mess. At the end of his career in Mess, we sold him to Watford in the Prem. And he scored goals there. So not too bad. We've also decided to make a centre-back signing. Um, I think we've made a very good signing at centre-back. It's one of the guys I did show you. Um, but, and he is going to start here today as well, 
Alexander Hack. I just, me and the stream talked about it. I just think he offers the most at a centre-back. He is very quick. He's good in the air because he's tall and can play at the level. So for me to bring him in, not bad. He's on a four-year deal at 10K a week. is nothing really for a guy that's going to be my best centre-back on paper. Um, I bring him in. I think he could be good. And plus, if he's in good form, he will improve. However, he is starting in the hardest way possible. His debut is against Liverpool. And that's not something you want to see. I don't think Militieri... Oh, Militieri can start straight off the bat. I'm not going to get him in right, right, right off the bat. But Watson's going to come off the bench, I reckon, here. And I think we're going to go to that. Um, Hat's going to come in as well. And we have now got... Militieri, by the way, can play wide, which is not bad as well. And this is giving me that little bit more depth. I think Militieri is a very good signing for the for the price. Anyway, Samba in goals. Christy, Worrell, Hack, and Quartwiss in the back four. Silver and Batchy, Martin Freeman, Ami Obi has been in good form. Plus, I just think, especially against Liverpool, someone that's 194 centimetres and that we can go to is not a bad outlet. And Taylor, obviously, in the form he's been in, is going up top. Expect to see Militieri make, his, make a sub as well. And two players need to get two numbers. I am going to give the number 23 to Hack because it's a centre-back sort of number. Um, and Militieri can wear the 14. He'll wear something else a bit later on in the save. Hopefully he develops into a really good player. People would have seen me sign him at Mess for a lot cheaper than what I did. But there we are. This is Liverpool side. This is a Liverpool side I love, obviously. I'm a Liverpool fan. Alisson in goals. Trent Van Dijk, Matip and Robertson. Keita and Thiago. How does the Thiago look on the game? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Robert, Bobby in the hole, Mane, and Minamino starting. Wow, there you go. He's not bad, Minamino, at all. Um, I'm guessing then Salah is up top. That's a very interesting way to play it, of all things. I would have put Minamino maybe in the hole. Is not a bad thing to do as well. Brewster on the bench. Um, how has Brewster gone, really? He's currently wanted on loan by a lot of clubs. Brewster's someone that, if he gets transfer listed, I've never used on FM. I've seen my mate use him, and he's really good. Plus, being English, I wouldn't mind picking Brewster up somewhere in the save. Like, Herbie Kane, I've never used either, and I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, and you keep track of people on this, you know, is people that are in the academy. Brewster's one, Herbie Kane's two, Harry Wilson, sad to see him, but he's probably going off to Burnley. Um, ben Woodburn never got his chance. I wouldn't mind seeing if Ben Woodburn developed on the game too, but who knows. Anyway, we're going in like that. It'll be interesting to see what goes on. Hopefully, we do okay. Nobody expects us to get a result here at Anfield. I'm going out there in the mind of, let's just play our football. Let's see if we can give Liverpool a hard time. And yeah, I, I'm not sure. I am going to go out there and press. That is for sure. We're going to get into the tunnel. Um, enjoy these matches a lot. Um, it's a natural choice. He's been playing really well as Taylor. And I think he can last a full match. Hack just needs fitness. Hasn't really played over in Germany at all. So get him some fitness is not a problem. I expect Liverpool to dominate this game, come out us and really go. But I think our best way of getting a result is not to play a 4-2-4, not to change the system and go like defensive. Go out there. We know how to play football. Rise to the occasion. Knock the ball around and see if we can create something. And as we say, this Christie's is on it. You know, Alex Martin, you're 17 years old. Time to showcase yourself. And he gets on the ball. The youngster down on the right-hand side, into the box, goes for goal, into the side netting. It would have been nice to see him cut it. It would have been nice to see Van Dijk dove in on him and go away a pen. It would have been great, but who knows. Anyway, corner to Salah. Back stick, Bobby. Samba's made a save and a half. And in the end, it's headed away for another quarter. Missed the Samba with a great save to deny. I think it was Matip with the header. Salah again, back stick. Amiobi heads away. And that's why he's out there. You know, he's a big boy. He can deal with stuff from set pieces as well. Just makes more sense, really. I just think that's just the lower league thing that you do. I'm not saying the championship's lower league. You know what I mean. I mean, Leonardo, hack. Leonardo again, Amiobi now. In the hack. We're just keeping it. It's nice to see Hack getting on the ball. He's decent, and it's a good ball towards Batchy, and he knocks into Taylor, and Taylor beats one. Taylor's got a lot of work to do from here. Matip tackles him, and now it's Trent and Minamino and Salah, and game over because it's Liverpool. Salah there. Samba does well to keep it at 0-0. The longer it stays at 0-0, the better, man. But I highly doubt it, chat. Score predictions. I forgot to ask for them. Boys, score predictions here against Liverpool in the Cup. I predict it doesn't get beat by a few, but who knows. Anyway, Keita going on a run. His ball in. Picked away. Thiago flicks, but that's pretty poor. And Thiago Minamino save. Thiago flicks. Yeah, Thiago Silva, Thiago. You know what I mean. Anyway, Samba. Good throw, please. He actually goes long towards Amiobi. I don't mind that. He's a big boy. Holds it up. We're going to win one new North Beach records. I doubt that. Leonardo, though, on the overlap. This is what I mean. Like... Let's just play our football and see what happens. Amiobi, Thiago Silva, Bachi. Good ball there. 
Batchy now. On the overlap goes Christie's. The Loney from Fulham into the box. Robertson brings him down. It was a good tackle, though. Not saying it was a pen. And Mane finds Salah. And this is it. Liverpool on the break. Salah beats one. Salah inside. Salah on his right, though. Well done by Hack to marshal him onto his right. And look, 63% of the ball at Anfield is not a bad achievement. But Liverpool are really deadly on the break. As you can see, they've already had eight shots. It's only been 20-odd minutes. Anyway, Samba now. Worrell. Good ball in a batchy. Tell you what, the ball out here is good. Martin's got space to run. Fill your boots, son. He's got numbers on inside of him. Falls to Taylor. Good touch. Big chance. Becker with a good save. And there was Nottingham Forest's chance at Anfield, boys. Unfortunately for us, just didn't go on the back of the net. There we go. Anyway, time is ticking away. 30-odd minutes played. It is nil-nil. It is not bad. But you know at any point Liverpool could flick the switch and score three in about five minutes. Keita looks for Minamino, doesn't find him. Wish it did, because I think he was offside. In the end, this highlight's going to continue. Robertson now gets inside of Mane. Keita getting in the box. Mane, good touch. He's inside. Mane's efforts block. Keita goes for goal and it's hit the top of the bar and over. And we are grinding out towards nil-nil here at half-time. We have a follow from Murphy Kipps. Thank you, Murph. Where are you watching from, my man? Demand a bit more, boys. We can get in at half-time at nil nil. Who knows? Maybe we can bring Liverpool to a replay. Are we really crazy enough to think about that? Yeah, we had to, didn't we? It's a corner right on half-time. You know, this goes Virgil. Samba drops it. Cleared. Salah. Ball in. Bobby heads. Samba, what a save. And it's cleared. Whew. We get in at half-time by the skin of our teeth. Liverpool definitely had the best of the game. But we've had a bit of the ball. I'm extremely happy, boys. It's nil nil at half-time. Who would have thought? Getting into the second half. We've got a few boys on bookings. It's not bad. Here we go. Look. Let's see what we can do. It's a throw in down our end. Don't you dare give me belief, boys. Back in the batchy. Hit it, batchy. Ball in. Amiobi Becker, what a save. Sammy Amiobi is on for that exact reason for the backstick ball. And in the end, he should have scored. Becker comes and claims superbly well. He is Alisson Becker, for goodness sake. He is one of the best keepers on FM this year. Man, it was a chance and a half. Keita now going on the run. Coming inside. It could have been 1-0 Forest. Who would have thought? Virgil on it again. Liverpool have not been great. They're fifth in the Prem. I showed you that earlier. Anyway, Trent's ball. Bobby's there. Bobby makes it one. And there it is. Liverpool finally get their goal 60 minutes in. And there you go. It was just a little bit easy. Bobby's movement's good. Trent's ball was well-weighted. Samba can't bail us out. And Liverpool finally get their lead. And there you go, boys. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Good ball in. Good run from Bobby. Hack doesn't get across. Nor does Batchy pick him up. And it's now 1-0 to Liverpool. I am going to make my first change here. Um, I think Amiobi's not had his best of game. I'm going to get Freeman out wide. And his name's Samuel Mulatieri. I mean, just going to go with that. Um, the plan will be to attack North Beach. But I think if we can get into 75 minutes at 1-0... And this system still lets us going forward. You just never know. Anyway, Martin going on a run here. Still Martin. His ball in. Mulatieri, his first chance was a header at Becker. It's already promising for Mulatieri. But the ball from Becker is brilliant. And Liverpool again on the break. And just every time we go forward, I just get worried because you just know Liverpool is so good at this. Thiago, Bobby, Robertson, they're all forward. Big chance here. Robbo beats his man, cuts it there. Bobby Samba just kept it at 1-0. What a save from Samba. Massive save to keep us in the hunt. Salad goes back stick. Bobby's head is Samba. What a save. In the end, it's coming again from Bobby. It's 2-0, and it's all she wrote here in the FA Cup. We're now out. You feel for the keeper. He's made a couple really big saves there from Samba. Unfortunately for ourselves, it is all she wrote here in the FA Cup. Headed down. Bobby there. In the end, arguably could have even been given an own goal. But it's all over. How are you, Murphy? Good to see you, my man. 70 minutes played. I think there's no question now that we will move into the 4-2-4 and see what we can do. Martin hasn't had his best of game. Has, it, has to be said. We're going to get in Lewis, grab him up top. I think that's definitely a, a thing we will go with. I'm good, you. We're not bad. Like We're giving Liverpool a really difficult one. Um, and I am going to go and man mark both centre backs and so just really try and see if we can force a mistake out of both Liverpool lads. And it's a highlight here because we're making changes. So let's hope it's not 3 0. It won't be with that sort of ball. All right, boys, come on. 
Get creative. Let's see if we can get a goal at Anfield. You just never know. Not long left. Godin can come out for Christie. He's leg legless, so just makes sense here. Can we get one at Anfield? It doesn't look likely. If anything, it's going to be Trent to probably pop one in from back here. It's Thiago actually taking it. Interesting. Never seen Thiago really hit a free kick, and he's put that one just wide. In the end, 2 0 down. We've given it our all, really. We had a chance at 0 0. Amiobi at the bat stick. Ball in. Becker comes and claims. It would be nice if Mulatieri get one on his debut as well. Becker goes long. And this is the thing. Liverpool has been so good on the break. It's Liverpool, for goodness sake. Gomez coming in at right back now. Going with it too. Gomez getting to the byline. Still there. Cuts it. Worrell clears. I tell you what. We're two against two here. This is what we wanted. Taylor, go. Come on, son. Do it. Taylor, one time. Get a goal. Oh, straight up Becker. I would have loved. Velocity Gamer, thank you for the follow, my man. Would have been nice to see us get one at Anfield, wouldn't it? In the end, I think we would. I think we deserved a goal. I think we deserved a goal. In the end, the boys I support Liverpool do me over 2 0. They have been dominant. Yes, they deserve it. Yes, Bobby had a great game out. Look, that was superb. I honestly think that we can take some solace that we weren't A, blowing out the water, and B, we had chances. We did create some chances. On a different day, Amiobi scores. Beckett doesn't pull off a wonder save. We're 1 0 up, and who knows what happens. I think Liverpool still score too and we still lose. But if Amiobi scores, who knows? We bring on a DM maybe. Maybe we bring on Ryan, who you guys haven't seen before, is decent at the back at playing DM. Who knows? Maybe we get there. Samba saved 15 chances, we're going to say. I am going to tell the boys. One of the dogs gave me Beth ever. Unlucky, but it wasn't meant to be. The boys have reacted well. Sometimes you say that even though they've played well, they still get despondent. So I'm glad they didn't there. We're out of the cup, but look. There's nothing we could have done about that at all. We, we were pretty good. Um, we got 1.6 million of gate receipts for that one there. That was a pretty good effort. And it's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to get to the fourth round of the cup, and then it was either get drawn against someone that is in League 1, League 2, or lower if they're still in the cup, and get through to the fifth round, or get one of the big boys for the money. We got the biggest boy of the law. We got Liverpool. The best team that does start an FM, it does say they're somehow fifth in the league. That's the first time I've seen Liverpool and all the saves I've loaded not have a good first season. Even then, though, they did butcher us, and that was that. Look, next time I see you here, YouTube, I will touch if we did make one more signing in the transfer window. But I don't think we will. It may happen. It does depend on what goes on in terms of sales. And we'll be back for a game, maybe another doubleheader with another team or two that are in and around the playoffs. Look, we grinded out a win against second place Huddersfield at the time. They're now third. We're only a point behind them. We're only four points behind our automatic spot. And look, even if you say that, are we really that far off Brentford? Who just knows? I'll see you next time, YouTube. Links down below. Like and subscribe. And thank you for another YouTube video. That wasn't too bad as well. Catch you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.